What is going on guys and welcome to the channel. It's James here from How To Games bringing you another 100% walkthrough video. And in today's video, I'm going to do a walkthrough of the second world in Mulaka, Paquaim. So let's get started. So we begin off in Paquaim here. We are introduced to a new uh, enemy type, uh, Mantis Men. These are really uh, not too much of a challenge. The unique ability of these of these enemy types is that they will they have the ability to disappear. So you can you can still see them through the using your vision. But they will disappear on you once in a while. So if you have a bunch of them, they can sneak up on you and attack you. So now I will want to make my way kind of into the center of the village. Just past where the save point is. And this is where we will be introduced to a cutscene here. Okay, so we are introduced to a new element here, and it is in that building, and really you have no uh, easy way of getting in. So the only way that I've ever gotten into it was going that way, so I jumped, jumped on the wall, and then uh, I got through. And that will introduce you to uh, one of the characters... She's basically like a medicine woman, which will give you uh, power uh, power ups um, in exchange for your karma that you collect throughout the game. But we'll get into that further. So basically, you're stuck in there, so you have to get your way out, and you are now introduced to the explosive, so you can collect that um, chai, I think it is. The plant, whatever it is, the plant, and that will introduce bombs. Yeah, it's called chai. So we will go over, collect the chai, and then we can break our way out of out of this uh, area. Another thing that I should mention right now is that. This area is very important. Um, so, as I stated early, uh, earlier, the medicine woman or whatever, she basically acts as, uh, will give you power-ups um, in exchange for karma that you collect throughout the game. So it's important to come back to this area and revisit so that you can uh, get some of these power-ups which are really beneficial especially in the later parts of the game so once again we're just going through the explanation of the Koruma and that she will enhance our gear or your inner attributes so I don't have enough to really uh, to buy anything so I'll go and I'll collect some more Koromas and I will probably exchange them towards the end of the level before I before I finish this world I will exchange it so now I'm going off on my mission to find the uh, three mythical stones so once again I'll use my vision to locate where the mythical stone would be and once again, there is a bunch of uh, chai 
in this world, so I collect as much as possible to uh, to keep my player uh, replenished. This world requires a lot of bomb potions. Um, later on, not so much, and I don't really utilize it that much in my uh, attack technique. So I don't really collect a lot of it in the later game, but your style might differ from mine. So it's maybe a best idea to collect it um, if you if your play style is more tuned to the bomb. So now we triggered a new cut or uh, a new battle sequence or battle, and we are introduced to a new uh, enemy type. These enemies are uh, a little bit trickier as they have a shield on them and you can only break that shield with a hard attack. And another noticeable or uh, something that I should mention about them is that their attacks will not be interrupted if you attack them. Their attacks will stay uninterrupted. So they will get you regardless. If they start their attack and you're in their way, you'll get hit. So it is best to to uh, keep mind of that because they will catch you. And here I just uh, I've got my finisher here. Um, so we also have another enemy type here. Um, I don't know if I trigger it or not, but. These enemy types are uh, quite annoying, I find. Uh, the best way to, to attack them is to use a spear. So you've got to stay away from their uh, purple orb. If it catches you, it will hold you for a certain amount of time. Uh, you can struggle to get away, but I have, I have, there's been very few instances where I have gotten away from it. So... That enemy type is a good one to always take down at the last, take down in the last when you are in these battle sequences. Just because they are so tricky, and the only uh, effective way right now to to dispose of them is using the spear, and it leaves you vulnerable for a minute. So um, leaving them to last. Is probably the best option at this point to take out that enemy type. So now I have collected my first mythical stone and I'm going all the way to the other side of the map <clears throat> to collect the next mythical stone. Now it doesn't show up on the map at this point. Um, but it is all the way at the other end of the map. And I did have, even though I have played through the game, um, several times at this point, um, there still is a little bit of confusion of where these mythical stones are. So once again, I'll reiterate, use the, uh, vision, um, uh, as often as possible and even if something doesn't come up like for me it didn't there wasn't a whole bunch of uh, of indicators that came up on the map but once I moved further down the map a lot more indicators showed up so that might be the case if you if there's not very many indicators for you that show up so once again I'm kind of just looking around here uh, here and there's another wall there and uh, not really where I need to be so now I've noticed so this it's basically this is at the end of the end of the map from where I was from from the uh, 
from the previous mythical stone that I collected. So they're basically on opposite ends of the map. So now I use my bomb to expose the battle arena. I enter the battle arena and that will start the battle sequence here. Now, I don't think we're introduced to any new enemy types here. So once again, uh, we have the, that flying enemy type and I take out everything and then I try to take them out with the spear without getting uh, caught by their uh, purple magic. So once you have them down, it is quite easy to dispose of them. Uh, the main thing is not getting caught and dealing with your other enemies and uh, and getting distracted and, and getting killed. So uh, once again, here I see that I have one of these the rock creatures, the rock balls. So I, I dispose of him first because he is a big nuisance. So you want to get rid of him and then I'll I deal with the lesser... Uh, lesser enemy types here. And now that I have them all bunched up, I use my uh, finisher. Now that I have that enemy type down, I can, now that will uh, let me uh, access to the trigger, which will now open up the gate, which is right around uh, further down the corner. So basically what you want to do is follow the icon for the gate trigger. And that will that will lead you to the next phase to get this next mythical stone. So here we are. This is the next little stage here. So there is an uh. We're introduced to a little puzzle here. Um, really, they start us off, and there really isn't any big um, hard puzzles in this game. So this is just a little puzzle. So you've got to complete the uh, waterfalls. But first, you are entered into a battle sequence once again, so you've got to fight off all the opposing enemies once again I have a finisher so I'll go right in the uh, center of or let them cluster around me and then I'll trigger my finisher so that bull type uh, rock is there again so I will finish him off if I can and as you can see those uh, shielded manis they do become a pain in the butt but they're uh, if you don't deal with them but they are uh, an enemy type that uh, you shouldn't be too concerned about. So now that I have finished off all of the uh, rounds of enemies, I can now finish the puzzle. Which, once completed, give you access to the next mythical stone. Ha! 
So now we have two out of the three um, mythical stones. So once again, once you have collected uh, a mythical stone, I recommend that you use your vision to uh, locate where you would think uh, the next mythical stone may be. So I believe that it's over on the other side of town again. So now I will go all the way around town. And I will see now that there is a little blockade. So now I will place a bomb, break the blockade, and this will trigger another battle uh, arena. So once again, um, we're not really inter uh, introduced to any more uh, new enemy types so it's just another standard battle here actually I don't even think that it's that difficult so like I said earlier those uh, mantis uh, enemies they will disappear on you so you might have to use your vision once in a while I have my finisher so I use it And now I can complete the last, complete the puzzle, and that will give me the third mythical stone. Now that we have completed the uh, get collecting all of the mythical stones we can now proceed to the gate um, so you can once again use your vision to locate where that gate is I have a good idea so I don't think I use my vision at this point to I don't use my vision, but before before I go and advance on any further, I go and try to get my enhancement. So the first one that I use is the Gia Tai, which uh, makes my special abilities come faster. And I strongly recommend that that is probably one of the first things that you uh, buff up. Uh, in your enhancements because it does as you could see in those battle sequences it does help out a lot when you are surrounded by a lot of enemies and it comes up noticeably quicker with that enhancement so it is definitely one of the benefits of getting that enhancement as soon as possible so now we have passed through the gate and we are now entered into a, uh, another battle sequence. Actually, surprisingly, for being really early on in the game, they really jumped up the intensity in these battle sequences. And they do, this actually one becomes quite difficult because you have that flying type enemy, you have the uh, rock bull. So. It does become it does become quite tricky this one so like I've stated in many of the other uh, videos I always uh, dispose of the rock type uh, charging enemies first whenever I see them and I'll always uh, dispose of the um, flying type enemies that throw the purple magic at you uh, second or or last I, I shall I mean because they 
while they are a nuisance, it leaves you too exposed if you are trying to take them down with too many enemies around. So, this is the way that I'll... And at this point, there is another method to more effectively take the, those flying types out, but right now, you don't have that ability. So, do my best to take these guys out with it getting caught into their magic. And it is best to use your patience when fighting uh, when fighting these enemy types. Especially for me, I'm not the greatest at uh, with the accuracy of the spear. It does have a little bit of auto aim, but it's not the greatest, so I know that it leaves me a little bit exposed to uh, damage, so that's why I do fight the enemies in the sequence that I do. So I heal up because there is another battle sequence uh, beyond the next uh, beyond the next gate. So I use a bomb potion and expose the next battle arena. Now this one is equally as difficult as the last battle arena that we encountered. So we go through the same sequence again. Nothing too uh, crazy here. It's just uh, fighting off the enemies. Um, And as you see there, I did not pay attention to that rock uh, creature, and he caught me. So you always got to pay attention to to him coming up because he is the first one to expose you and create damage for you. So once again, my technique was to always just continue to run away. They recommend dodge. I do not recommend dodging away from them because they can still... Uh, circle around after the first dodge and kill you or and hit you so I tried to expose of these shield enemies it becomes increasing difficulty a little bit increasingly difficult with these flying types throwing um, magic at you but I finally managed to clear out the enemies and then I can clear out the flying types. So here is probably my least favorite combo of of enemy types, but luckily I had the uh, finisher, so I decided to use it to my advantage and um, dispose of two of the enemies rather quickly and. Once I dis disposed the last one, that would finish off the enemies. Now, that is the end of it, and beyond the next gate is where the uh, boss is of Pacuum. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next 100% walkthrough video.